Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Winley Liu. Today, I want to share the topic of dietary approach to prevent a very common uh, chemotherapy side effect, hypomagnesemia, which means uh, low blood levels of uh, magnesium. This side effect is very common uh, in platinum-based chemotherapy, uh, including agents of cisplatin and carboplatin. These two chemotherapy agents are very commonly used in treatment of uh, testicular, ovarian, endometrial, bladder, lung, and head and neck cancers. My colleagues and I uh, did a retrospective study of ovarian cancer patients receiving carboplatin-based chemotherapy. We found 84% of the study population had the side effect of hypomagnesemia. So you can see it's a very common side effect. Now, the mechanism is most likely platinum-induced kidney injury that results in magnesium wasting through the urine. Why preventing hypomagnesemia is important. Uh, we know magnesium is very important, uh, an essential element in energy metabolism. So when energy metabolism is abnormal, uh, the problem is usually not focal, it is rather systematic. Patient can have symptoms ranging from mild fatigue to uh, severe muscle weakness or spasm, from a mildly elevated heart rate to severe, even fatal arrhythmia, from mild insomnia to uh, severe neurological or even psychological symptoms. Um, my colleagues and I also found that the more frequently uh, hypomagnesium occurred, the higher uh, the death risk among the study population. This correlation is not a simple positive relationship. Uh, it stayed true even after we included the confounding factors of uh, cancer stage and uh, completeness of tumor resection uh, by surgery. Uh, so preventing low magnesium uh, not only may help prevent low magnesium related symptoms, it may help improve patient survival. So I hope to see in the future randomized controlled trials of uh, the effect of preventing uh, low magnesium on patient's survival. Um, why do I promote a dietary approach to help prevent low magnesium? Clinically, uh, the most commonly used method is magnesium salt intravenously or orally to replace magnesium when low magnesium level occurs. The advantage of uh, intravenous method is that you can give a large amount of magnesium in a very short period of time. The disadvantage is that a patient has to go to the hospital to receive IV infusion. Another disadvantage is that the effect of IV infusion does not last more than three days before uh, hypomagnesium uh, recurs. Another disadvantage is that large uh, dose of IV replacement of a magnesium may exacerbate uh, magnesium wasting through the urine. The main problem with oral magnesium salt replacement is absorption. Uh, the absorption of magnesium salt uh, is rather low. The unabsorbed magnesium in the colon becomes a laxative. So diarrhea is a very common side effect of magnesium salt uh, replacement orally. So it is not a very easily tolerated. Magnesium is widely available among a variety of foods. So the dietary uh, approach to help prevent low magnesium levels is more convenient and doable for patients. 
um, the dietary approach is also rather continuous uh, than pulse dose replacement. We can utilize three meals and even uh, in between meals drinks as opportunities to replace magnesium. So this method is more convenient and probably uh, milder for the patient. So what foods are rich in magnesium? Magnesium is very rich in whole grains, legumes, um, nuts and seeds, certain vegetables, and dark molasses. Among animal foods, milk and uh, yogurt can provide some magnesium intake. One cup of milk, 250 cc, can provide a 25 milligram of elemental magnesium which is far away from the daily recommended allowance of 420 mg for men and 320 mg for women. So you can see magnesium is rather a plant-based mineral, but highly refined carbohydrates are not rich in magnesium. For instance, a cup of whole grain pasta provides at least a 75 milligram of elemental magnesium. But a cup of a white pasta, refined pasta, provides only 25 milligram of elemental magnesium. Among nuts and seeds, hemp seeds are very rich in magnesium. Among vegetables, cooked spinach is very rich in magnesium. For cancer patients during active chemotherapy, we not only have to consider uh, preventing the side effect of uh, hypomagnesemia, we also needed to consider other nutrient intake. For instance, protein requirement is higher uh, in patients receiving active chemotherapy uh, than the general population. Uh, they certainly also require other uh, nutrient intake. Finally, for cancer patients during active chemotherapy, some other symptoms can also occur, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. So the food selection needs to be adjusted timely according to the patient's digestive ability. So patient needs to keep close contact with um, their physicians and the nutritionists. As for general population, uh, daily intake of some whole grains, legumes, um, leafy vegetables, and a small amount of nuts and seeds will help with adequate magnesium intake. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave comments and questions. Uh, please also subscribe to my channel so you get the newest content from integrative medicine perspective. I will see you next time.